We've been seeing more and more Chinese-made smartphones showing up on our teardown table lately. Back in May, we saw the Huawei P9, which scored a respectable 7 out of 10 on our repairability scale. And now, we have the latest entry from Meizu, the MX6. With its all-metal unibody, the outsides of the MX6 might remind you of another popular smartphone, but how will it compare on the inside? There's only one way to find out, and that's to tear it down. Just like the Huawei P9, the MX6 uses pentalobe screws to secure the display to the chassis. Why they chose these screws instead of regular Phillips or Torx is totally beyond us. Out comes our eye slack to pop open the MX6 and reveal an attached fingerprint sensor cable, just like in the iPhone 5S and SE. The only difference? Meizu gave us some extra slack on the cable and held it in place with a screwed down tamper evident bracket. Next out is the battery, which disconnects with just the flick of our spudger. While the MX6's battery is adhered to the rear case, it does feature an iPhone 4-esque battery pull tab that makes the job a little easier. This is a 3.8 volt 11.63 watt hour battery that has a capacity of 3060 milliamp hours, putting it ahead of the iPhone 6S Plus's 10.45 watt hour battery. The speaker assembly was next on our removal list, and fortunately it was held in place by only a few screws. While part of the assembly lines up with the microphone hole, there was no mic to be found here. We did find a tiny acoustic tube channel with a 90 degree bend intended to pass audio from the outside world to a mic located somewhere else. Directly underneath where the speaker used to be was the USB-C headphone jack and microphone assembly. Although the cable was glued to the chassis, getting it up and off proved to be no challenge at all. Excited to take a look at the motherboard, it's the next thing we remove. But before we take a look at the chips, there are a couple of cameras that need to be dealt with. First up was the rear-facing camera that is the first to feature Sony's 12 megapixel Exmor RS IMX386 CMOS sensor, along with an f2.0 lens. Shortly thereafter, after, the 5 megapixel front facing camera was extracted. And back to the motherboard. On board, you'll find 4 gigabytes of Micron made LPDDR3 SD RAM. And layered below, you'll find the MediaTek Helio X20 system on chip. If you feel like browsing the entire list of chips we ID'd, head on over to the teardown on ifixit.com. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, our mission is to teach people how to fix everything, so we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between 1 and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair, and 1 being the most difficult. The Meizu MX6 scored a 7 out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, the display assembly is the first component out, which simplifies screen repairs. The phone also features modular components with spring contacts, large screws, and thoughtful cabling, making repair cheaper and easier. The battery is equipped with a pull tab for extraction, but the tough adhesive binding it to the chassis means force is still needed to remove it. On the downside, the MX6 uses pentalobe security screws on the exterior, requiring a specialty screwdriver to open the phone before any repair. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com ifixit.